All right, everybody. We are at this pretty horrible golf course today. Uh, gonna have a good time with the uh, golf holics. Brian's in the house. Mike, as you know, and uh, Mike totally scammed us on <laughs> the course. He was had the everything all set up for us to play. I had to pay full rate, non-resident today. That hurt. That hurt my spirit, Mike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I usually uh, hook up my friends with a resident card, but I uh, I failed today. So my apologies. Hey, yeah. don't feel bad. I'm a resident, and I got charged full pop, and they wouldn't even <laughs> renew my card. His card was expired. He had to pay full rate, too. He said, no, go online. We don't do that anymore. <sighs> Painful day already. That's like, that's like topping your tee ball on the first tee right in front of everybody. Yeah, it's that's like, basically what happened. Like Francis Molinari on uh, <laughs> at pebble? number one at Pebble. At yeah, pebble. He was nervous. All right. Here we go, Torrey Pines South course. I haven't been here in like over 10 years, so super excited to get the round underway. And today, we're talking about how to break 80 when your game is off. And tip number one is gonna come right here on the first hole, and it is do not go for the hero shot. I have about 165 yards, a tree is in my way. I cannot get an eight iron over it. So I'm going five iron under the tree, just trying to avoid massive disaster. Because if I hit the top of the tree, it could go anywhere. So do not go for the hero shot. Left me less than 100 yards, little 54 degree wedge. Just trying to bounce it up, these quick greens. And I just wanted to get a look at par. That's all I wanted, and I had a good look at par. Oh, and a great stroke. <laughs> what a great start. That's Thanks. a $202 stroke right there. Woo, come on. That's a 202 stroke right there. What an up and down. So good save on number one, and good start. Number two, I'm off. Blew my driveway right. Just trying to get over a bunker and did not do it. So struggling out of the gate, trying to find fairways here. Hit a pretty good bunker shot and followed up with probably the worst putt in the history of putting. Didn't hit it. Right in the heart, just left it short. Not a good way to go. Second tip, we'll go here. On the first par three, this is where you wanna focus on having a short, compact swing. Conditions are gonna be perfect. You're gonna have a nice lie, everything's good. That's where you want to try to just control your swing I'm not feeling on at the moment, nice but this shot, shot I was able Thanks. to Excellent. take a yeah, shorter swing, compact, and gave myself a good look at birdie here. It's okay, I was just focusing on the swing, and that's, that's what I wanted. So as we get into the round, we're gonna play the fourth hole here, one of the hardest holes in, at Torrey Pines. Canyon, water left, and I'm a little off right now. So just trying to feel my swing, feel that short compact swing from the last par three, and try to start feeling something. My foot slipped there, so I missed it way left, short side of myself. Beautiful day though, so no complaints, Torrey Pines South Course. Look at par, made a bogey, so a couple over par here, that's okay. Tip number three coming at you real soon. Man, I hit a great drive, but I'm slightly off. I was pleased with the swing, and the ball just faded a little bit, went in this fairway bunker, which is, this is gonna lead us into our next tip here. And you always have to focus on the positives. I was hitting it well, but I was just a little off. But if you start focusing on the negative things, then more bad things will happen. So here I'm focusing on positives. And Mike's brother, Brian, just made a birdie on the previous hole out of the bunker. So, I did too. Yeah, I told you, you gotta hit the bunker. <laughs> little, 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 little Cali sun loosening that Georgia backup. I hit it in the bunker, nice job. just like you, See? and we got a birdie. So I could have focused on negatives, but I chose to focus on positives because 
Brian had made up birdie out of the bunker, and then I went in the bunker. So I was focusing on positive things. And again, I'm, I'm in decent positions, but just slightly off. Ran this birdie putt way by on the par five. Nice comeback. But positive attitude leads to positive things. Again, I hit a great drive here on number eight or seven. Pulled it in the left bunker and just kind of shut the face on that short side of myself, impossible chip, but gave myself kind of a look at par here. Horrible putt. Number eight, I hit a perfect shot here. Unfortunately, I over clubbed by at least one club, maybe one and a half because I went way over the back of the green and it left me this just impossible shot going to no green to work with downhill down grain down wind and I would be faced with a long long par putt so I'm just trying to not get a double bogey and still focus on that fact I was hitting good shots so leads us to the ninth hole par five horrible drive and just punching out, hit a tree, ricochets in the fairway, about 202 left, hit a horrible four iron. But again, I'm trying to focus on the positives. I've got a good short game, I had green to work with here, and it really wasn't that difficult a, a shot, and I felt really confident my short game was gonna be pretty, pretty good. And it left me this little four or five footer, four footer for par. Good par. <laughs> <laughs> Finally striped one good here on 10 and not the greatest second shot, but had a good look at birdie, which I thought I made that. This is the infamous 10th hole at Torrey Pines, the Patrick Reed hole now dubbed. So uh, playing with Mike, golf holics, as you know, we're playing a little match, this back nine. So if you want to see that, go to his channel, Golf Hall, it's link in the description below, and see how we <laughs> fare in this nine hole matchup we got. I should have made that birdie putt. I know. That's I close. Thought, I thought you missing it to the right, you were gonna make bogey, but you had a good chance mm. of bird, and uh, I just had good. a lag mine down there, so. All right. Pushed on the first one, so. All even. We're all even. Check his channel out. Go there, see the match. Mike has four birdies on the front side, though, so he's hot. <laughs> so we do the match after he's hot. So hopefully he's cooled down. That's right? It's a, a great call. I probably should, I are going to wear down on the backside and yeah. you're going to win this match. Thanks. I have a good feeling. <laughs> we'll see. He's good. He's playing <laughs> really good. 11th hole. Great. Tough. Par three. Hit hybrid here. Just missed it a touch left. Again, I felt, felt good about my short game. I was really trying to hold this out. Excellent. And almost did. Such a good shot. Easy par here. Mike would make that putt you see there for par. Hardest hole at Torrey Pines here. 12th hole, back into the wind. Long hole, I blew it right again. Tough lie out of the rough. Right. Missed short right. Just trying to, again, focus on positive things here. Thought I made this. Boom. Oh, and heartbreaker. Right. Bogey there. Next par five again, pulled it left. Just trying to get it in a good layup position. Missed it right, and this would be on the green. Next tip coming up here shortly, and it'll make sense what it is in a minute. I thought I hit a perfect number here. A little bunker shot, no green to work with. Greens are running good. This is shortly after the tournament here at Torrey Pines. So again, I thought I made that. But again, next tip is reset after every three holes. Most people reset after nine, but then you're giving up a lot. A lot. So now I'm resetting after those three holes and trying to have a new attitude, new energy, and new perspective here. I love it. Whoa. 
What an eagle. Woo! Uh, yeah, that felt good. Hole out eagle here at uh, 15. Uh, there she is right there. Look at that. Uh, hit over here and just spun off that hill. Back into the hole. Mike and I are playing a little match. Be sure to check out his channel for our match update. Let's just say I needed this because I'm down a little bit. So that's, that helped a lot. Whew. Whew. Felt good. So you just got to keep resetting after every few holes. Three holes is good. Again, I'm Mr. Green here. That eagle was good at about 94 yards and just spun it in the hole. So, but a bogey here. And next tip, final tip coming up for you. And although we're keeping score, you have, you have to never focus on your score because you start focusing on your score, it's gonna mess with you. You just gotta focus on hitting the best shot possible at each time you have the shot. And then you save a par like that. Last hole here, and all I'm focusing on is that drive, which I blew right. Mike said this was the straightest shot I hit all day, or the most online shot, which it probably was. Needed to be, otherwise I would've ricocheted into my head. But just don't focus on score. Focus on one shot at a time, and you'll be good. All right, everybody. Hope you had a good, you know, just a fun day out here at Tori, hitting some shots. Had a great time. Had some epic shots, for sure. Be sure to check out Golf Holics because we're doing a match, Mike and me, and that's coming down to this last hole. So you're gonna wanna go over there and see who pulls it out. We don't even know yet. I still got a putt, so to speak. So I hope you like the day. Beautiful out here. Love you guys. See you all next video. So a nice little 76 on the day. Happy to shoot that. Tough Torrey Pines South course.